Yo, what up? It's your boy. We're back. We're heading to Edgewater. I uh, have no idea where Edgewater is. And I anticipate we're going to meet some sort of new and exciting adventure on the way. So uh, let's see what we get. This guy. I'm not looking to sneak up on him. Uh oh. One headshot. Two headshots. There's a little bit of freeze here. The aim is not as tight as I would like, but we'll be alright. Were they eating him? The hell? So there's still little bits of micro stutter going on here. Where'd that boy go? Thought I shot one of you over here. By this rock. Hanging out, trying to be cute. Um, what was it? Sipping on some scissor. Up. Inhaling some inhaly scissor. Up. You know. Whatever it is. Whoa, hey, where'd you come from? Hi there, Silas. Oh. Ain't safe out here. You'd best head into town, avail yourself of Edgewater's high walls and low, low prices. Pleased to make your acquaintanceship. I'd shake your hand, but I've been hauling corpses. You don't want none of that on you. Name's Silas. Junior in humor for the town of Edgewater. We're all part of the Spacer's Choice family. Definitely not the junior in humor, that's for sure. If you've got business inquiries, you should stop by Reed Thompson's office. He's up in the tower above the cannery. Head into town, follow the road. Look, you obviously ain't a worker. What's your racket? You a smuggler? Freelancer? Yeah. Edgewater is a company town, board owned and operated. That includes the cemetery. None of us own our grave sites. We rent them from the company. Wow. Renting means money. Money means paperwork. Paperwork means signatures. Some of our families become a mite delinquent in paying their dues, you see? Quotas, mostly. Got a backlog of graves to fill. Bodies won't bury themselves, you know? Yeah? Wow. You could look at it that way, I suppose. You could look at us and say, those Edgewater saps lost near every soul to plague. But you'd be wrong. We're survivors. Loyal company folk, brave in the wilds. Every now and again, a virulent plague sweeps through our town. That's life on the frontier, I suppose. A body grows accustomed. I can really go for some salty now. I can really go for some salty now. Okay then. So the first person we meet from Edgewater is the grave is the grave digger basically. And this is the cemetery where people have to rent their graves. And they want me to be a knee breaker for uh grave diggers. Not about that. That's not how we live around here. That's not what we do. Let's go into Edgewater and see what we get. So we're in Edgewater. With our gun ready to go. Looks pretty smooth. Keep your distance, friend. Sick house is no place for a traveler. I'm about that. I appreciate the company and all, but you really ought to leave. You don't want to be seen around me because I'm sick. You don't want to associate with people in the sick house. We're not worth your time. I'm in about as much trouble as I can be. No reason you ought to be tarnished by association. People are going to talk. 
Figured it was obvious. I got sick. Couldn't get better on my own. Got moved here for everyone's sake. Wow. Maybe you don't know this, but there's a real simple reason you don't talk to the plagued. Don't. Please. I could get into a lot of... That's kind of you to say, I suppose. But I don't need help. What I need is to understand my own folly. Company always tells us. Weak spirits lead. I really wish you wouldn't say those sorts of things. I told you once already. People could be listening. Damn. I'm feeling a touch faint. If you don't mind, I'd like... Oh, my man is dead? I mean, if you're dead, homie. Something's not right. What just happened? Who did he just shoot? That's not cool. The barber shop. I'm straight on the barber shop. General store. I don't know that I need anything quite yet. Corporate's ever gonna visit? I'm not holding out hope. They're not gonna visit. It's not the best choice, it's Spacer's choice. And before you ask, I'm all out of deluxe salt tuna. All I've got is gourmet. You ought to go have a talk with the boss, Reed Thompson. He's up in his tower above the cannery. Music to my ears. All right. Got a bunch of these suckers. All right. That sold for surprisingly more than I thought. Let me get some of that Healy boys. And uh, I think we're going to go with that. Let's see what's popping in the cantina. I don't know you. Amelia Kim, Spacer's Choice Beverage Dispenser. Oh no, I, I don't told know her what you're about, name. but this here is a Spacer's Choice drinking establishment. We're all loyal, hardworking company folk here. <laughs> Am I that easy to read? Yeah, we've been having some problems lately. Loyalty issues, lines in the sand. I know where folk in Edgewater stand, but you, I don't know you. Mm. If you're gonna have a drink, I'd like to ask that you do it within the premises. Can't have you taking drinks over to those deserters. <sighs> Traitors, the lot of them. Bunch of folks decided they were tired of working and went out into the wilds to fend for their own selves. Town's already struggling to make quotas, even without that band of slackwits abandoning their posts. Bunch of lazy, shiftless rung leeches. What anyway, the fuck is a rung run leech? Enough about them. What can I do for you? Go ahead. 
Ugh, is this the start of a joke? If you want me to laugh at your jokes, it's a three drink minimum. <laughs> I like that. Look, I don't know what you're blathering about. If you took a blow to your skull, you really should settle down with some zero G. Anyhow, whatever happens outside the walls is not my business. Only deserters and marauders wander out there, and I cannot tell you which I revile more. My world is these four walls. Let me make something clear. Spacer's choice has been real good to me. The town's been real good to me. When I start gallivanting around outside the walls, poking around in places I shouldn't be, learning things I've got no right to know, people will talk. Won't ever catch me asking about the world outside. Else the town's gonna say Amelia's gone soft. That Amelia's pondering desertion. <laughs> I don't want that. Damn. So Amelia does not like deserters. At all. And be satisfied with our lot in life. I've said enough. People come here to drink their problems away. If they wanted to face their problems, they'd go see our vicar. Okay. Well. That's good to know. What is this place? I don't know, just somebody's house. Guillaume Antrim. Guillaume? Birdie Cotton. Doc Mabel. Ah, I'd be open to that one. Almost lost a finger in the cannery today. Carry on. No, he doesn't want to talk to me. He's too cool. With his deep voice. Carry on. Fuck out of here, bro. Can't you see I, I'm toting that thing? So the one thing I don't like about this is I can't, uh... I can't put my weapon down. I always feel like I'm ready. Monkey Argo. I'm sorry, Mr. Thompson, sir. You asked why it's taking so long to fix. The answer's technical. Don't apologize. Just try using small words for me. The cans bust open in the oven because she's set to cook saltuna, which isn't what we've got. Mr. Thompson, I think there's someone here to see you. Focus, Miss Holcomb. You and I are still talking. Damn. Let's start over. Walk me through what the a process. Dick. Show me where it's going awry. Well, sure. It's uh, mostly on account of what we're feeding into the mechanism. It puts food in cans. We have food, we have cans. Why won't it work like we need? She's expecting Saltuna of a certain size. We're filling the cans with... Well, not fish. Hmm. Seems we've got a guest. Really now, Parvati, I do wish you'd spoken up. I do apologize. I was given no forewarning of your arrival, or I might have welcomed you at the gates myself. You were saying, Miss Holcomb. It's just what Bess needs is a proper refurbish. I, I don't know who I, I Bess is. I up and what all, but she's just... old. Sorry, I I'm sorry. I'll, I'll do better. Oh, I didn't know you could pause it in the middle of that. And I do wish you'd stop referring to our cannery as Bess. Personification of company property is strictly contrary to the Spacer's Choice Code of Conduct. My apologies. I am not in the habit of allowing my guests to witness such a row. Now, what can I do for you? I'm Reed Thompson, Outpost Administrator. I cannot help but notice you are not in uniform. Yes, so it dawns on me. Seems I allowed my excitement to run away with my wits. Been a few seasons since we've had a visitor pass through. Only regulator we got is hooked up to the town transformer. Mr. Tobson ain't liable to be keen on dismantling it. I beg your pardon. I am most emphatically not keen on any such thing. I can't let you have our power regulator. But I happen to know of another one. And I happen to know exactly how you may retrieve it without frying yourself in the process. 
There's a power regulator in the old botanical lab. It's mostly abandoned, so all that power is being squandered. Go oh. down to the geothermal plant. Reroute power from the botanical district over to us. Once their power shut down, you can have their regulator and be along on your way. I was not entirely sure how to tell you this. The botanical labs are not legally inhabited, but there are people who live there. No, I do not imagine they will be pleased. But like a parent disciplining an unruly child, you will be doing them a kindness. The people living in the botanical labs, they're deserters, former workers. I need them back at their posts. I need them to come home. Good law, no, I don't want you killing anyone, least of all them. Mm. My hope is that by cutting off their power, you will convince those deserters to come back to town. Before you go to the plant, I want you to stop by the botanical lab. Okay, so uh, we agreed to go chase these people down for our boy. For this sle sleazy guy. And uh, he sent Parvati with us even after we got the thing where, of course, we don't do that anymore. I don't know what that does. On my way! Oh. We better clear out of Mr. Thompson's office before we talk. All right, Parvati. Hey, mister, can we talk? Sorry. Yeah. Can we Sorry. I... You just want to get out of here. And you likely don't want to tag along like me. It's just... Mr. Thompson has his own view on matters, on account of it's his job and, and what all, but that's not the only side of the tale. Okay. Oh, he ain't a liar. He believes every word he says. What do it's you just, believe? He doesn't always get where other folk are talking from. To Mr. Thompson, a person's a gear. It does its job quiet-like. If it squeaks or stutters, it gets replaced. The deserters are decent folk. I knew some of them before they left. I don't know anybody well. I mostly listen to them talk, get my head down. Okay. There was a boy named Thomas who used to follow me around, asking questions about the stuff I fixed. He was real sweet to me. Not any sort of dissident. Life's hard here. Especially for them that don't fit in so well. We're one big spacer's choice family, but every family's got the one the rest whisper about. Mm. Mr. Thompson's aiming to take away their power. They'll have no lights to see, nor heat to cook. They'll be at the mercy of marauders, or worse. I think you should talk to the town's vicar about it. Max, his name is. Okay. The mission's on the east side of town. You can't miss it, on account of it being the only clean thing. Thanks, mister. I just think when you gotta make a decision that'll hurt somebody, it's best to think on the right and wrong of it. That's what my dad used to say anyways. So, anyway, I've already made up my mind uh, to shoot your boy in the face. Uh, your boy being Hobson. So... I'm guessing it's this way. So I'm not really worried because uh, Hobson's finna kept the, catch that pew pew um, as soon as I flip and feel like it. As soon as the game gives me an option, really. I've always felt weird in here. It's too clean. Yes, what is it? You're an outsider. Fantastic. Vicar Maximilian de Soto at your service. Or Vicar Max, if you're the sort who prefers brevity. And Ms. Holcomb as well. How rare to see you out. And with a complete stranger. Curious. Just tagging along, Vicar DeSoto. Don't mind me. I so rarely get new people to talk to. Name your poison, anything at all. Spiritual counseling, this season's tossball predictions, the quickest way out of town. But what? I, I thought you would talk to him. You wanted to speak to me, Ms. Holcomb? 
Every time I've tried to engage you in conversation, you look at the floor, answer in single words, and slink away. I can't imagine what would be so grave as to drive her to my mission. What has Mr. Thompson asked her to do? Depriving uh. her of safety from the marauders and wildlife. I can see why that troubles you. Miss Holcomb has a soft heart. Always has, if you believe the talk. Assuming your goal is to save as many as possible, then you should bring everyone together. Send the power to Edgewater and convince the deserters to return to the fold. Not if things are left to stand as they are. If you don't mind a bit of unsolicited advice, be cautious on your way to the geothermal plant. It is not as safe as you might assume. Bruh, is the preacher throwing threats at me? One of the reasons I transferred here was to fulfill my duty in hunting down banned heretical texts. I happen to know such a book is, as we speak, tainting a collector's library in Emerald Vale. However, the collector's residence lies outside the town's walls. My retrieval efforts have been thwarted by marauders who have overrun the property. Should you fare better than me, I'd pay a handsome sum for the book. I just want to keep the writing out of layman's hands. It wouldn't do for such information to fall into public consumption. It's a handwritten journal, a faded blue cover with the name M. Bakonu handwritten in the lower corner. I'll mark where I saw it on your map. Assuming you're serious? It is not only a beautiful relic of a bygone time, it's also the thoughts of an early thinker on the nature of man's place in the cosmos. Not many in this colony could understand its true value, should they ever read it. Thank you. If you retrieve it, you can always find me here. So this man was negative helpful, really. Like, so I gotta bring these people together, blah, 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 blah. Also, I have my own fetch quest. I don't even know what quest I'm doing right now. Let's see what we can find. All right, so we're on what look to be docks. Just wandering around. Oh, this is the landing pad. When I was little, we'd get freighters in every Sunday noon. Now they only come but once a month. Because nobody I'm wants them. Gross ass Saltuna. Let's see what we can do. That looks like it would hurt. Yo, those little like... Oh shit. Oh shit, he did not go down. That's the last of them. Okay. Thought that guy went down, he did not go down. But they ate a marauder. Put some heal on. Here they come. Mm -hmm. Just slice him with your slicey boy. This is whack already. A whole lot of like encounters and encounters. I get it. It's the wilds. It's too many sounds I don't recognize. I did. 
Ooh. Ooh. And your boy is down. I think we're going to come back tomorrow. This was still very informative. Um, and we got to start over from the Vale station. So I think we're going to come back tomorrow.